Good afternoon, fellow awkward knots. It's Friday. So this week has been a bit long and a bit stressful. Uh, as you can tell, I'm back home uh, because university is finished for the term, and I'm back home for the next three weeks. Um, so yeah, you're going to get videos like this. Um, so hello, how are you? On to this week's theme, which is of course the story, and it's got a quite the epic ending. Here we go. I have to look to the side because else I can't read it. And I'm destroying my room. Okay, here we go. He brought down his hands away from his eyes and saw himself. Older, wiser, the reflection of his older self approached him, and in his hands he carried a sterling silver sword. You have the power to end this, the prince's older self told. You must be the one to stop the battle. And the older prince offered the sword. Listening carefully, the prince took the sword and bowed gracefully. Offering his thanks, the reflection and the bright light slowly began to fade, and the prince ran down to the ground, yielding the sterling silver sword. The battle froze as they saw the prince approach, and they all turned their attention towards him. This battle shall end, the prince cried. There is no one ruler of this land, for we are equals, and the land belongs to all of us. Drop your weapons, and put an end to this torture. The battlers looked on in amazement, and one by one, the weapons fell to the floor. The prince approached, and with a sterling silver sword, he destroyed all of the land's weapons. As the last weapon was destroyed, the prince threw the silver sword to the ground, and as it landed, the sword shattered like glass. There shall be no more battles, the prince cried. May we forever live in peace and harmony. And so they did. The king, queen, prince and princess, along with the other villagers in the land, began to work in peace. The prince especially made the effort to help the villagers in their times of need, and opened up his family's kingdom to those in need. Would this plan last forever? We shall see. Ah, so epic story has epic ending. I really like this challenge. I actually enjoyed listening to the story uh, sort of play out. Alex, Alex, uh, Alex, it's a shame you didn't uh, get your turn, and I hope all your music and concert stuff is going well. And I hope you have a good weekend. I hope to get a video from you soon-ish. Well, ladies, thank you all for completing my challenge. I know it wasn't the most easiest of challenges, but uh, hey-ho, you completed it, and well done to all of you. And Kat, I hope you're feeling a lot better after last week's video. I really thought I'd really annoyed you, because she's like, I watched Lee's video and, and I was like, oh crap, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. The punishment, I was like, it's fine. But then you said you like the punishment, so um, it's all good, it's all good. So I'm back home now, and um, uh, yeah, no one's in the house, so I'm literally making this as quick as I can before anyone walks in and listens to me talking to myself. Um, yeah, so I'm back home for a few weeks, and uni's been ended now, officially. Uh, so I hope you've all had good weeks. Um, I hope you all have a, a fantastic weekend, and yeah, I think, I think I'm done for today. Yeah. Lauren, I shall see you on Monday, and fellow awkward nuts, I shall see you next Friday. DFTBA.